Hi there, so this is my second video of the Voya A15 Android tablet. I've been using it for over a week now and I have found some issues that I would like to share with you in this video. Um, the first thing I would like to complain is about the location of the software buttons which have been moved in Android 4.2 from this side when it was located here in the corner to the middle and with a device with such a large screen it's more or less impossible to reach the buttons here which is a little bit annoying you would have to release your hand and use the other hand to to reach buttons and um, this is a little bit annoying since there are cases where you really really need to uh, go back or or go to the desktop um, so yeah this I hope that, that they will find some fix to move the buttons to the to the corner uh, where it will be much easier to to use. Um, the second thing that I have found is the so-called color banding. Um, I have seen this on other devices like the Ramos W30. Basically, I'm not sure if you can see this on the video, but uh, like the keyboard buttons here, uh, you can see there are some bars, and you can the colors are not as smooth as they should be. And um, this is only visible in the UI, uh, so only in the interface of Android. Because um, let me demonstrate. If I take a screenshot of this screen here, and if I open up this image uh, to view it as as a photo or an image, there is no banding issues at all. The, the the colors look perfectly fine. So this 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 is only visible. Uh, in the UI of Android and not when you are watching movies or playing games so definitely not a big deal. Uh, the second uh, much bigger deal is that uh, the Bluetooth is not working. Uh, I'm not gonna demonstrate it here. It, 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 you can turn it on and it will start scanning and if it, sh it will show up uh, other devices but I was not able to pair my mouse a Bluetooth or keyboard mouse so I guess this is something with drivers and I hope they could fix this um, you really need it's it's really useful to have an external keyboard with such a large device um, the next thing would be that I have found that this CPU uh, have some problems with video decoding so like for example here in MX player you could you can do hardware decoding and if I choose this, it, it it basically won't decode the movie with hardware acceleration on. There you go. However, the MX Player have something called a hardware pl uh, the, um, plus, and and in with this thing on, it works really good. There is no problem playing back this video. Um, you could of course also decode everything with software, but what this does is that it will drain your battery much faster so it, it is recommended to have the hardware acceleration on while watching movies so uh, this is something I also hope they will fix in the future firmware upgrades I'm not running the latest firmware there was a newer firmware released a couple of days ago and uh, it's supposed to fix some of the hardware uh, decoding video decoding issues so hopefully this will be fixed um, gaming is not a problem with this device um, it's not an issue I just wanted to show you how gaming uh, looks on on the 815 so here I'm, I'm loading one of the 3d games skip the intro and I must say playing games or watching movies with this large screen is really amazing it really does a big difference compared to uh, let me reach for my Ramos W30 so here we go if we compare those two screens it really does a big difference while while for, for gaming and video playback so let's see here 
Okay, it's just some tutorial. Okay. So as you can see there is no problem to play any heavy 3D games on this CPU even with this uh, bigger screen. So, um, okay, I'm supposed to hit the guy. And finish him off. Okay, things looks cool. So I won't go through the 3D gaming. All the games I have been trying, they work really, really good. Um, what else? Uh, well, apart from, from the issues that I mentioned, I just want to say that as it is now, the firmware is not really stable. It will once in a while uh, crash or just reboot itself in the middle of browsing or just anything. So I guess that the device have a far way to go with when it comes to optimizing the, the Android operating system to this solution. And so that was it for this video. Um, I, I will uh, upgrade the device uh, as soon as possible to the latest firmware and run some more tests and update my, my review which is available on tabletrepublic.com so go and check it out uh, subscribe to my videos and I will be as I will be updating my videos with, with uh, my channel with more videos on this device and other devices so thanks for watching and see you